All right, gonna be doing a dapper talk on the importance of reading contracts and what to look for in reading contracts. We sign contracts all the time, such as iTunes, terms of service, uh, all sorts of terms of service for games and so on and so forth. We usually don't read these things. And frankly, you don't need to read fully most contracts unless you're really particular. Things that you need to read and understand are agreements between yourself and somebody else for money. So for example, if you're going to be spending any amount of money on somebody to make you sign a contract, or you're being paid any amount of money, and you have to sign a contract, you'd need to understand it. It happens all the time that people don't read their contract fully, and then it comes back to bite them. Most contracts are comprised of multiple sections. In fact, they all have sections. The best way to actually read a contract is go section by section. The point of most contracts is to cover the company's ass. So the vast majority of the contract will be non-liability clauses for set company. This is pretty standard stuff. What you really want to look for is what do you need to do in the contract? There's always going to be a section with your responsibilities that what you have to uphold to, and that's what you really need to understand. As a general rule, never sign something on the spot. Take it home and read it over and make sure you understand what you're signing. If you have questions, ask them. If you don't understand what words mean, ask them. Any reputable company or service will be able to answer those questions for you. You really just need to look for the stuff that you're responsible for, what you can and cannot do, what can end your contract prematurely if you break it. For example, if you're broadcasting on Twitch TV, please go read the terms of service and understand the terms of service. There's a lot of really nifty stuff in there. Um, I'm going to use the iTunes terms of service as an example. It's an incredibly long terms of service. However, if you can get through that and actually understand half of what it means, you can understand almost any contract. I highly encourage people to read it at least once. You really take stuff like that for granted and you don't have any regrets. You think, oh, well, I'm just going to hit yes. I'm just going to hit yes. Until you do something that you didn't know you were contractually obligated to do, it really comes back to bite you. It is really important that you read your contracts. This won't be a video for a lot of people, and a lot of people won't take it. This, this keeps one person from signing a bad contract. This video is totally worth it. Please read your contracts, understand them, look up words in the dictionary, figure out what stuff means. If you can understand a very long contract, you can understand almost all of them. Please read your contracts. It will save your ass. That's all I got.